So we're going to kind of sum it up here with an acrostic. So let's do it. This, the C in community is come as you are. Once again, everybody's accepted. Everyone's accepted. So whether, you know, if you're looking for a community to join, to become a part of, or if you're a leader within a community, make sure people come as they are. Right. Make sure people feel like they should they can come as they are. But think about it. Think about uh, let's just use church as an example. Sure. If someone can't enter the church doors as they are, absolutely. Then then that specific church has has lost its lost its true purpose. I think. Well, and absolutely, and, and it it goes to another point that you're making. Come as you are is be yourself. You know, don't try to be something that you're not. Uh, to fit in with a, a another social circle or a group of people, be yourself, and that community will surround them themselves around you. Yeah, and so let's go to the O, the O in community. The O, uh, we're expanding on the come as you are. The O is open up to others. You know, be available to others, right? Um, and, and that's something that I, I stress a lot on some of my little walk and talks, you know, there, there are many times where the phone rings, right. And you're like, uh, I don't want to be on the phone with that person for an hour, but you do it anyways, you know, and that's a little bit different, but I'm opening myself up to others and being there for people as they need me because we're all busy. Right. But being there for somebody is, is important. But we've all been part of a community where somebody just sits there and doesn't yep. contribute and doesn't right. say anything. That that's okay too. But there's something that's much more uh, growth oriented, or I'm not sure the word I'm looking for here. When you open up to others, and when you allow others to open up, and and when you provide support to those who open up, and so, being receptive to it, be receptive to it. Yeah. Remember, yeah. come as you are. That's open right. up to others. Let's talk about the first M. The first M is make yourself available. Yep. That kind of ties in with open up to others. Make yourself available. Make yourself someone who contributes to the community, who opens up to others, who allows others to open up within the community. Well, here's the thing too. This, this is, you know, uh, and I understand being a wallflower or being shy or a loner and all that, but uh, here's the thing. Everybody has been blessed with gifts. We all have our God-given talents, right? By sheltering yourself and not being open, you're not sharing your gifts with us, bro, right? You know, we, we want to, to be able to uh, get those things from those different people that I've talked about before. So if, if you are sheltered and, and not out and making yourself available, well, you're just not sharing your gifts with us and, and, and you're kind of stealing from us, right? That's right. <laughs> to put Absolutely. it bluntly, you know? So the second M, we're going to shift gears a little bit with the, the second M in community, but, and, and talk more about the, the leaders or the organizers of the community. But the second M of community is membership, a sense oh. of belonging. That goes back to when I was talking about following the Grateful Dead. It, it was instant membership to a club or our, our thing that you and I love, baseball. You know, you, 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 baseball is a fraternity of like-minded people, right? A sense of belonging to that club. And I think the important thing when you're organizing community or if you're a leader within a community, whether it's a, a small tabletop community, a large community, is remember – a sense of purpose, a sense of membership yeah. for these people, a sense of belonging. Well, and I, I think a lot of us, you know, the, the, why all this started was I was annoyed with the uh, negativity on, on the internet. Right. You know? And so it, it's, it's, I think all of us can change the world. And I've said that before in this podcast, you know? Yeah. So do you want to do you? Um, I, I, I do me every day, man. I'm just, I'm doing me right now. All right. Oh, you're talking about you and community. Oh, the, right, you right. cross it. Yeah, yeah. Unity around purpose. You know, I, that, that's one you wrote. I really like that one, Colin. Unity around purpose. Yeah, so think about it. Grateful Dead, it's music, it's freedom. 
when you when you travel around and watch the Grateful Dead. It there, there's so much thing, but it's uni, uni, unity around purpose. If you if you think about um, a church community, there is unity around purpose. If you think about uh, a political community, again, we're not talking politics, but but the, whether you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever, you okay. have unity around y- your purpose, right? Right. And, and the same thing goes for, let's say, Mark mentioned the, the, a group of people, groups of people who are meeting out of the, hey, guess what? I love you. Um, that is unity and in, in purpose, meaning they want fellowship. They just want to hang out. Sometimes they want to get right. to know each other. They've provided social media support to each other. Now they want to provide in-person support to each Absolutely. Other. No, that's, that's awesome, man. We're going to go to the end. Uh, and that's networking in diversity, which is something that I talked about earlier. Yeah. So don't, don't limit the community by cloning membership. Boom. You know, that again. That's the, your 20 second bite there. Go ahead. Don't limit the community by cloning membership. I like you don't that. want a bunch of clones. You don't want a bunch of uh, soldiers that are exactly alike. If you're in the military, you probably do. If you're right. protecting people, you probably do. But if you're in a social group, if you're in a community group, if you're in a, a group whose purpose is to uplift each other's, you don't want everybody to be exactly the same. That doesn't no. do you any good. No, no. I mean, it. It, it, it's funny when, you know, and I don't want to harp on the, the Grateful Dead thing, but that is a, a, a thing we can talk about today. But when I was traveling from city to city to city, I was with people from New York City, Manchester, Connecticut, uh, you know, people from all different walks of life. I mean, we call it Coke down here. They call it pop up there. You know, mm-hmm. um, I'd say I'm fixing to go get something and they didn't quite understand me. But I learned and, and two, the, here's the other thing. Being out on the road in America uh, in the 90s, I met people from all over the world. And I absorbed a little bit of something from all of those people that makes me now me, doing me, right? Uh, so it, 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 I think that's a really good one there. Um, you know, being around people that are different from you, and we're, we're harping on that, but I, I can't stress it enough, the benefit of being around people that are different from you. And I'm not saying uh, be around people that are uh, hateful or, uh, you know, not kind to anybody. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying put yourself into a position of negativity, but I am saying put yourself into a, a position of learning uh, by being around people that are different from you. Yeah. So the I in community, see, I learned this from Pulver too. You got to keep the, you got to keep the acrostic going, right? You can't right. park too long on a point, but the That's I, right. <laughs> the I in community is intentionally advancing forward as a group. Mic drop. <laughs> intentionally oh. advancing forward as a group. So remember, it's about community, right? Well, we said it's it here a- last week. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. I really, I mean, now somebody may be able to point out like Howard Hughes, but I doubt it. He had a whole team. Let's say Elon Musk. Elon Musk couldn't do a darn thing without people around him. I thought about a great community that I was in in the past. Uh, About 20 years ago, I did an executive MBA program here in Dallas through Baylor University. It was a small group when we went through the whole, the two years together, but we developed a community. And we were intentionally tra- uh, uh, advancing forward as a group to get our MBA. And there were different classes. There were different projects. We traveled internationally together. And the ages ranged from 30 to like 55 or wow. 60 almost. So we were a, we, that community, I actually I should write about that community as part of this, but it, it, we were so different, but we were always intentionally advancing forward as a group, which was, we all wanted to get our MBA. We all right, wanted that right. to go together. You, you had and, a similar goal, but coming from different backgrounds. We had study groups together. If it was a, a you know, a, a quantity, a, a QBA class, the people who were real analytical would teach. If it was an accounting class, when we had our study groups, the accounting people would lead it. So, you know, that's the, an important part of, of the community is intentionally advancing forward as a group. So wow. T, the T in community is transforming lives together. And that's just catapulting on what we've already been talking about transformation is key 
Absolutely. in all of our lives, right? We don't go through lives, just our lives, just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Right. We transform all the time. Mark mentioned a few weeks ago that the season of transformation from from COVID and, and from the the, the, the the pandemic and really just a lot of things that, that happened in 2020, quite frankly. Right. We're still in that season of transformation. We're still in that season of transformation, but communities should transform lives together. Right, absolutely. You're growing. You're growing. Um, unless the group is moving in the wrong direction, right. you should be transforming. Hopefully you're not transforming backwards. <laughs> Hopefully you're transforming <laughs> forward, right? Um, each member will change after joining a community, right? Oh man, that's a good point. Say that again. Each member will change after joining the community. Therefore, their lives are automatically transformed from, from being in the community, whether it's things man. they hear, things they say, uh, people they do things with, um, thoughts that change, understanding a new perspective, transformation occurs. Dude, all that's gold. That's gold. Well, the why in community is, is, is what we've been talking about. You are always welcome. You know, you're always welcome in a community unless you like, you know, do something so, you shouldn't, but go ahead. So yeah, the why kind of ties back to the C, right? Good. Come as you are. You right. are always welcome. And we did that intentionally on this yep. acrostic. I don't know if you're supposed to do that on acrostic. Tied yeah, Bruce, are we supposed to bow tie it like that? You know, just wrap yeah. it up with a ribbon? We did. The why is you are always welcome. Tying back to the C, come as you are. Your community should should welcome everyone. You should should welcome all types. People who've done wrong, people who've done bad, people who've, who are... You know, maybe recovering from something. That's a really maybe, good point. maybe even people that just act the way you don't like. Right, right. That's that's a great point. You know, and then going back to what you just said on uh, earlier about uh, maybe there's somebody who did you wrong. Right. Maybe it was some, maybe they stole your Pete Rose rookie card. You got to forgive that person, right? You've got to call that person up, and because life is short, right? So I didn't that, steal your I didn't steal your Pete Rose rookie card, did I, Mark? No, no, I never had one. Apparently, I stole your John Lennon T-shirt, which, <laughs> by the way, you still haven't given your address, so I still haven't sent it back to you. 